Oh my word, they actually called it Undead Unlock. <laughs> what is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Undead Unlock episode 19 called Result. It's been a while since I've watched this. If you like Undead Unlock, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Okay, Undead Unlock. It's been forever. Yeah, so that's where we were. She was like, it was a cliffhanger. You know, she was talking about this certain book to see if it was real. And I was like, what is it? What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? But it's just every single Wednesday, I was so busy. I was working on set <clears throat> on a series. And... I came back so late, and I just couldn't do it. But we're back. Let's do this. I wonder what the book is, though. And why specifically Fuko and Andy are the ones who can figure it out. And yeah, that's basically what we found out, right? It's like, it's on a loop. God has the Earth on a loop. Obviously, the one thing I wanted to see was why Victor became Andy in the first place. Because he was just living forever. I really want to know what this book is called. That book I use as my life's Bible. What? Oh my gosh, is this the... The book from the the beginning. Space Soccer Club Invasion Arc. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that at all. Oh... This is interesting. So there's obviously some type of correlation between that book and the events that's taking place. Can look like a prediction of the spoil battle. Oh wow. So who, who's ever writing it is... They might be getting out of the loop somehow. Oh man, there's 101 volumes. Which means that that is the 101 penalties most likely. The artifact G-Liner. Interesting. So what, it's written with a certain artifact? <laughs> so they're basically gonna write their own manga. The one thing I will say is that I can definitely see how they've taken it a notch down. Because the last like three, four episodes has been so intense that like this is obviously their way of like cooling it down a bit, having a bit more fun before they jump into you know the biggest thing. Okay, Unigo. Unigo. Oh wow, it's like AI. <laughs> Dead bull. <laughs> oh, right, right. They still have um, Apocalypse trapped in that. What is it called? Unbreakable. That's that look when you're letting someone read your work. <laughs> Wicked sick. Oh damn, they're gonna be drawing and everything. 
Go pump some iron. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh right, because it's like Tatiana's hands. Damn, to so it like obviously in order to impress these people, it has to be a legit, I guess, raw manuscript if you will. So like you literally have to have the next level. And I mean you can see it in like the artwork as well. But I mean with, if you really think about it, if you have like the artifacts that they have and all these types of things, I'm sure they could have somehow infiltrated without needing to go this far with it. And Tops just <laughs> reading through everything. Jeez. That's like the first time I've ever seen her smile. Because she's always so serious the whole time. Damn, everybody's wasted. They basically alter. They basically turned into a team of writers. Oh my word, they actually called it Undead Unlock. <laughs> Crazy. They literally wrote this their story in a way. Is that Andy with the French hat? Undead Plus. <laughs> it's almost like, you know, when they break the, um, the fourth wall. <laughs> Please forgive me. Your art style is too old school. Damn. Like, really think about it though. How intense that industry is. Like, how many people must be trying to get in? Oh, wow. Are they actually gonna just show her like that? And I, yeah, I was thinking it was gonna be a whole other thing, like winning the contest and stuff. It's probably missing. Oh wow, what's this writing? Oh, because it's gonna be Japanese and they can't read it. Damn. Okay. The Koi's betrayal of... Okay, maybe they are jumping into the contest, and that's where they'll see him or her. いつも風子って言います。私の漫画読んでもらえるでしょうか。ぜひあなたに読んでもらいたいんです。もし遠くにいるようならこちらが足を運びますので。無駄よ。安野先生は他人と喋らない。見たことだってないんだから。面白いの
So yeah, Undead Unlock. Like I said, it's been forever since I've watched it. Like basically that episode is essentially just, you know, sort of a segue into, you know, what's coming next, obviously. Just simply because, you know, in the last episode we did see that, you know, they mentioned this book. You know, obviously the way they, they spoke about it, I was like thinking like, oh, it's going to be some sort of book that everybody knows or something, maybe like some sort of religious text and it was they were going to delve into something like that. And then it turns out that, you know, this is that manga that she was reading in the very beginning of the show and how it actually turns out that, you know, it's actually in all the 101 volumes this is obviously my theory is that this is the events that keeps taking place that's on a loop and obviously it's being written with an artifact called the g liner obviously maybe that's you know some form of a pen that's you know that's why they want to get a hold of it because it will lead to so many different clues as to what's going to happen next and that was basically the episode i mean like i was saying it's the last couple of episodes have been so heavy to take in. I'm not surprised that they slowed it down a little bit, had a bit of fun with it. And that's obviously what we saw here. Them, you know, the whole team getting together, almost like a production company doing a manga. And yeah, very interesting to see why this Anu Sensei is actually wanting to meet them. Because, I mean, think about it. There's millions of people creating new mangas. And look, they even have a, comp a contest to see who can win it and stuff. So why would this person just be like, okay, meet me in Canada on this park bench. If they didn't already know something was happening. And this might be due to the fact that they've already written the whole thing. They already have the storylines written out, if you think about it. So by them... By Fuko and Andy them and the union getting a hold of her, she goes, oh, this is that part in the one volume that wasn't released, if you know what I mean. So they might think that this is something that they're just doing to get the information while she's sitting there going, oh, this is actually taking place now and probably has taken place in the past before. But that's just that's about it. Um, I want to I want to see where they actually go to the end of the season. Um, this what only... 24 episodes left i think it's like 24 episodes this season so it's going to be interesting to see but anyways that's going to be it for me if you like undead unlock smash that like button follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because i'm releasing every single day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit